Hey guys, Kutsu here. I'm going to show you how to recolor your cursor, your uh, Usu cursor to any color you want. Um, it's a very simple thing to do. It takes very little time. And you can have a really nice cursor. Pink, blue, whatever the heck you want. Alright, for this I'm using GIMP, free program. I'll give you a link for it in the description. Um, it'll do exactly what we need to do for this, you know, we're just recoloring. If you want to use Photoshop, that's fine. It's pretty much the exact same thing. The menus are just different, but it, it might be the same name for the menu as well. It's it's the exact same thing, pretty much. Um, this program is free. Photoshop is paid money. Anyway, once you open GIMP up, you want to go to the center window, look for the Windows drop-down uh, menu, click on Single Window Mode, and that will put all the menus together because you don't want it to look all disgusting when you're looking for everything. All right, so maximize this. And you want to go to your skin folder and find the cursor that you wish to recolor. In my case, I'm going to take the one for my newest skin that I'm working on. I'm sure you've seen videos of it. It's red and it's nice. Anyway, open that up in GIMP. And here it is, very red. So I want to recolor this to say yellow. Maybe because the red's not visible enough when I'm playing. Moving the cursor around, I lose it sometimes. So I'm going to go, down, go to the color drop-down menu and find hue saturation. Click that. It's going to bring up another menu. And you want to look for the color that's closest to your original color of your cursor. So mine's red. So I want to look for the red um, color here. Click on red. It's going to change everything red in your image. If you have a yellow cursor, you want to click on yellow. It's going to change everything yellow in your image. So you go to red, click on the hue saturation slider. You can mess with the lightness and the saturation if you want. It's going to change it a little bit. You see like that. But you really just want to leave it at zero if you don't want to change that. I'm going to leave it at zero. Um, so I want it to be yellow. So I'm going to take this slider, go over until I see yellow. There's yellow. It looks pretty good. Might want to make, pull it down a little bit so it's closer to orange. It looks pretty good. So I press OK on that and then export it. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if you want to change it to another color, you just keep going. Like say green, blue is purple over here somewhere. There it is. Light blue. There you go. All the colors right there. So I want it to be yellow. Go to yellow, press OK. File, export as. You want to find where your skin is. Mine's in my documents folder because I... I don't like the programs folder, it gives me problems. And here it is, I'm just gonna export, replace, export again, because it's a PNG, make sure you're saving it as a PNG, so the alpha layer will save. Go to Osu, for me I have my skin already loaded up. If you have it already loaded up, just press Control, Alt, Shift, and S, it will reload your skin for you, and there's your new cursor. Very easy, very quick, make it any color you want. I'll be making more tutorials later on changing colors of things, making things, all that sort of thing. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And yeah, have a good day.